Why We Ruined Death Note. It might be an absurd title for some, but others might completely understand where I'm coming from. And you know, I wanted you to be here. I needed clicks, you know, how that system works, right? First of all, congratulations, Mr. Krabs. Hello, I like money. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. Nonetheless, let's talk about how a nearly perfect show was ruined. Make sure you like the video if you like the video and sub up to the channel. Welcome. Anyways, Death Note, we can all agree it's an amazing show and it's gotten tons of people into this medium of entertainment, specifically myself. I was that young kid who didn't know the DBZ universe from the DC universe, but Death Note put a lot of that into perspective. Maybe that's a little bit too extreme, but the point being I didn't know Jack Nicholson about anime or anything surrounding otaku culture. Here's Johnny! <laughs> At the time, Death Note was an amazing show that showed people on a global scale that anime didn't have to be a man screaming for 35 hours. <laughs> But it displayed that a battle could be fought not with punches or kicks, but with the mind and intelligence. And well, some kicking, occasionally. Still, whatever the reason, <laughs> an eye for an eye, my friend. I love Death Note. No matter who you look at as the evil side, both sides are extremely easy to root for. Like Yagami, while morally he's pretty questionable, you still find yourself rooting for the guy. And L, the great detective whose goth aura and demeanor is an easy fan favorite. But now, it's time to get into some not so nice things about the show. P.S. One of my favorite shows. But I'm gonna have to destroy it for a little bit. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, sorry! Sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! Sorry! You got me fucking throttled! Oh, sorry! Death Note is the literal example of fumbling the bag, as they say. What I mean by that is, in most spaces, Death Note is considered perfect, at least within that first half. Death Note was like a well-oiled machine hitting on every mark. Then it became the Titanic after episode 25. Spoiler warning, but you're about 15 years late, but whatever. Killing L was an option they took, and that had fans outrage from years after the show has been aired. From this, I didn't really feel too much outrage at least looking through my POV. You either got light or you got L. It's a pretty easy option. You can rewatch that first half of Death Note. Neither man was gonna give an inch to the other as long as they were breathing. So in reality, those are the choices I saw present at the time. However, by the end of this series, both of those elite characters would be killed off somehow. And we would be introduced to these people. But we will get on them later. Don't don't worry about it. Be patient, you guys. Let me talk about L. If you're going to off him, you have to keep Light alive. I don't care if the show was going to end the next episode. And honestly, it should have, looking back at it. Not to mention, the way you did it was interesting, to say the least. Oba and Obita, you guys left me with a lot of questions. Having Light lose his memories and... All that was kind of confusing, but whatever, I'll give you a pass. I just didn't want to see L get smirked off a technicality like that. It just didn't feel good as a viewer. It just didn't feel right. Then we get introduced to these guys. Well, I'll agree it's not the worst idea to have apprentices of the great detective come and I guess try to get justice for their slain mentor. But man, the execution was not it, man. It wasn't hitting. We were supposed to believe that these two were smarter and or more capable than their predecessor. I just couldn't buy what was being sold to me, you know? Don't understand, bitch. Don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. While Mello and Nier basically just being a ripoff of L in certain characteristics, and Nier basically just being a baby who's a genius to act like an infant. I'm gonna just be frank, but Mello for me was the worst. I just didn't get what they were going for with him. 
was he supposed to be like a bad boy version of l or like light and l mixed together kind of like I, I didn't get it then we have the strawberry on the poop flavored cake Light's demise. What happened here? It just was everything was just so overly complicated. The whole ending in general was a dumpster fire, bro. I can't lie. Mikami was a horrendous character through and through, and just was another reason why I hated Death Note Part 2. Mikami was entrusted to do something that he just wasn't ready for, even though bro was a lawyer. Like, it just didn't add up. He literally failed at the one most important job he had at the end and he acted weird throughout the entire show and the entire his entire appearance was just weird wasn't a fan of it at all it just didn't add up why would light entrust this weirdo with the death note this just doesn't sound like my hero this doesn't sound like my light that i've grown accustomed to for the series run and near copying like the whole death note was just bull i call bull on the whole thing while it was cinematic and we got mean for days i just wish it would have went a different way and again death note is one of my favorite shows of all time it got me into anime like i said previously i owe a lot to it actually it opened many doors for me and opened up my mind when it came to digesting media especially from this platform so this isn't a hate video i love death note anime and manga everything i'm very appreciative but even the best things contain the worst stuff sometimes. I don't know if that was a great quote, but that was just me saying it. Um, but yeah, I, I love the show. And honestly, you can still love things that are flawed. That's all I got for you guys. More videos are dropping soon. Make sure you like the video. If you like the video and sub up to the family. We're just the animation guys. We're going all the way up, all the way up.